After a cloudy drive into work and school today, the sun is shining brightly here at West Con. Look at this picture I just took an hour ago. Completely cloudy right now. Completely sunny. I'm going to show you that satellite. It's a very interesting satellite. I'm going to show you that in just a couple of minutes. Temperatures still on the cool side. 52 in Torrington, 54 here in Danbury, 58 in New York City. The cool spot, 49 still in Hartford. Near 60 in New London. Temperatures at about another 10 degrees of these numbers. Near 70 for many locations later this afternoon. So for the headlines today, uh, mild and dry starts the week today. It looks great if you have the day off. I know it's Columbus Day. Get outside. Please do something eventful. It's going to be very nice. We have a major midweek storm to talk about. I'm going to spend most of this forecast on this headline because it's the major one of the entire forecast. Late week show could be talking about temperatures in the 30s, highs around 60, which believe it or not is actually closer to where we should be versus the 70 degree temperatures we're going to see today. So that satellite, I promise you, look at this. Look at this very vivid clearing line across Western Connecticut around 10:15 Monday morning. You can see that pushing right into Western Connecticut. So within about a half hour, it went from completely cloudy to completely sunny. Westcon's right there. So we just saw that clearing line pass. So lots of sun. That's why these temperatures are going to get quite warm. Like I said, temperatures approaching the 70 degree mark. The rain that could have passed through last night and missed us hit southeastern Connecticut. But right now we're high and dry. Temperatures, like I said, 69 is the forecast at high for southwest Connecticut for the model right now and putting temperatures in the mid to upper 60s across a good part of the state. We should be closer to the low to mid 60s, so definitely above average with lots of sun as well. So a major midweek storm last week, we kind of were talking about a same type scenario and it didn't really happen this week. A little bit different though. We have no high pressure. We have a couple low pressures going to form into maybe one big low pressure system and bring a lot of heavy rain and strong winds from Wednesday afternoon right into the day on Thursday. So here's our future radar. It's a couple days out, so a little bit early to get the exact details in, but it looks like heavy rain by Wednesday evening into the overnight hours. Notice the, uh, these lines moving. This is the, uh, your wind, your storm kind of wrapping up. So when I click the next button overnight Wednesday, uh, you can see that we have a couple systems. We have one storm potentially over here and another one down in the south. These may kind of converge to one big storm, and the tighter these lines are, the stronger the wind. So the rain may end by the morning commute on Thursday, but the winds become very gusty. So let's time things out right now. looks like the timing Wednesday afternoon to Thursday afternoon, but the rain may stop by the morning commute on Thursday. The winds will become worse, though, by Thursday morning to Thursday afternoon. Strong damage winds, potentially a couple inches of rain. So it could be some flooding, scattered power outages, tree damage. It's just too early to tell. We'll keep you updated all week long here at WestCon with the latest guidance coming in each and every day with the latest forecast update. Quick fall foliage update. We're at moderate colors across a good part of the state. Eventually high colors probably by the weekend. The uh, Mohawk Trail probably at peak colors by this weekend or early next week. So definitely a good time if you want to take a nice ride out there and see the fall foliage around Connecticut. Tonight, today's forecast, mid to upper 60s, so definitely in the mild side. Tonight, around 40, so where we should be for an average low in the five-day forecast. Temperatures uh, cool and seasonable for tomorrow, so right where we should be. Lots of sun as well. Wednesday, the headache of the week. We may start off with some sun and some clouds. Then it becomes rain uh, increasing likely and becomes steady and heavy overnight. Wind picks up by Thursday morning. The rain ends and even breezy and cool for Friday. So again, this kind of forecast right in here, a little bit unknown right now. We'll have you updated all week long here at WestCon. This is student meteorologist Zach Duhame. Enjoy.